Hey lovelies, want to see how to make your own wig cap with no stitches and no glue? Now make sure to keep on watching this video. Before we get into this video, I just want you to take out time to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Love you! So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Deepa Messi. So today I'm just going to quickly tell you the things we'll need for this tutorial. I'm going to need the crochet I'm going to be using. I'm using the twisting crochet for this. You can want to use the braid crochet also. You're going to need your crochet pin and also the cap you're going to be using. I'm going to be using this yellow cap. I just thought it was really cute and then I got it. I'm going to turn that to the back and then place it on my mannequin head. You just want to play, turn it fully to the back and place it on your mannequin head. So the next thing I'm going to be needing is my dawn cap and basically I'm just going to put the dawn cap over the cap basically <laughs> I'm just going to put in the dawn cap over the cap you want it stretched out as much as possible you want it well placed then I'm just going to go in and pin that with my T-pin to have that really secured you want to make sure to stretch it out properly before you pin it down So basically I'm going to take my scissors now and I'm, I'm just going to cut the dawn cap. Basically what I'm trying to do is just cut it to the shape or the size of the cap itself or the size of the hat rather. So I'm just doing this little by little because I do not want a situation where I find out that I have actually overcut. So you just want to do this little by little, step by step. So I'm going to stitch down the side I've cut. All I do, first thing you do when you want to stitch is make sure you tie it. Because if you don't tie it, there's a possibility you could end up losing. And you know, when your first stitch loses, there's a possibility everything can come unraveling. So you want to make sure you tie it properly and have it locked properly. So down to stitching it now, I'm just going to go ahead to fold it before stitching just so it's neater. This is not compulsory but I just feel if you want it to look a bit neat, all you have to do is just fold it in while sewing and then stitch it down. That's all I'm doing. I'm just folding it in if you can see it. And then I'm not sewing it into the cap. I'm just sewing it into that line, that extra fabric we have. Basically, I think that's the bias used to sew the cap. So that's all I'm sewing it on. You do not want your stitch to show at the back of your cap, if you know what I mean. You just want to take it very easy and make sure you check from time to time that your needle is not puncturing the cap itself, but just the butter. So that's what I do. I just keep doing that and keep going on and on and on until I get to the um end of that section basically until it gets to where the curve is in the hat i just keep doing that so i've gotten to the curve and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the curve see how i'm doing this little by little because this will help you a lot doing it little by little instead of just cutting it once because it won't even stay so it's just better to do it little by little. I strongly advise you do it little by little. So I'm just going to cut that off. So after cutting that off, I'm just going to go in to sew again, obviously. But I just want you to take note that I'm also going to fold that edge. So from the end, you want to start folding it so you can be able to fold it continuously. If that makes any sense so this is me just showing you that I have not seen like no stitch coming out so you can do that to just be very careful you it's very possible for you to have no stitch out just keep doing it little by little 
this step took me about 30 minutes because i was being very careful and i was being very gentle and i wasn't rushing through it so it could take you longer because you're getting used to it just keep on pushing basically so i'm just going to do the same thing for the the other side you just want to cut it and sew it round basically i didn't think showing the sewing again was necessary because i've done that already but i just want to remind you that you cut off the other side and sew it so another thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to sew on this line not on this cap i was just showing you where i'm going to be sewing on, on the cap i just had to stitch that down because the weight of the crochet is going to weigh the wig cap down and if it's not stitched the weight of it will pull the cap down i don't know how to explain that but it's just very necessary that you stitch you stitch this place all right you could stitch anywhere that has that fabric that extra fabric so it doesn't get on the cap just make sure to stitch it so that your crochet doesn't weigh down the wig cap itself so that's it guys i'm practically done with putting in the dung cap it's as easy as that so i'm just going to get into crocheting my extensions now the thing about this what i noticed is i shouldn't have started this low so make sure you don't start this low i just think it didn't look as appealing as i want it to look because i started this low the knots were coming out when i wore the cap it wasn't so bad but i just feel it would be much better if you take if you started it higher than this and not as low as i started crocheting it so if you take it higher if it's higher than this it would be so much better that's just my observation So there's nothing really here i just went ahead to crochet all the air in and one thing you want to also do is to cover up that back so you want to go in and crochet that back as much as you can you can see my spacing isn't properly arranged because i started too low like i told you so if you don't start as low as me your spacing should be really well arranged I just started too low and I really wanted the hair to be scanty because if you know on this channel I do not like full hair so I really wanted it to be scanty and then I didn't just have the strength to start losing everything so well spaced space yours very well and then it's to turn out perfectly fine this was still actually very perfect if you ask me but I just think it could be better so this is what it's looking like this is how we've covered it this is what it's looking like and it's that simple guys it's really that easy i just went ahead to stitch that front i don't know why i didn't do that earlier but you could do it before you could do it after it doesn't really mean or you could just do it before anyone that goes by you anything that works for you works for you basically hey lovely so we're done with the hat and I can't even lie to you, this is the most simple thing. It's so simple. It's the simplicity for me, all right? It's the easicity for me. Yes, it's so easy and simple. So I'm just gonna put it on for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Just see what I'm talking about. Okay, it's a bit tight, so I can freely release it because I didn't crochet it or because I didn't sew it I can easily so that's it see you just give it a little bit of arrangement here and there I'm still going to put a um, I'm going to put one here because I feel that place isn't covered I was more focused on the back and I didn't get to cover that. Like it's the literally the easiest thing. It's literally the most simple thing you could just think of. And it's really nice. So just put this on while going for my evening strolls or while going to get something in the market. I'm not going to even lie. I wore this out today to go get something from the park. So it's pretty easy. 
simple and rockable at any time I went to yellow because I just wanted to show you guys that like your thread does not have to come out because when it's black sometimes people's thread gets to come out and everything I just want to show you with or not the color and if you can see I have no thread out I have nothing out it's just the color of the cap it's just easy and simple Ooh. like you can even still pack it too. like you can pack it are you saying like you can if you don't want the whole shenanigans you can actually still pack it and it will actually still be very dope you see what I'm seeing, right? I'm just, I just love it. It's easy, it's simple. It's the easy for me. <laughs> All right, it's the easy for me. What? Think how easy to just be. Like you don't have to have your hair braided. And one thing you should also know that for tracing it is going to be very easy. All you have to do is just trim the crochet up. Then when you trim it, do not burn it. Do not burn your crochet because when you burn it, it will start, um, what's it called, hanging on your shirt and start pulling your shirt out. So do not burn. You could just simply trim, trim it. If it's braided, you could put it in hot water and blah, blah, blah. Just different treatment, mousse and everything. So it's going to last for a long while. All right. This is, I mean, when I saw this, I'm like, I have to try it. I have to try it. So that's it guys tell me what you think in the comment section let me know if you'll be trying this out let me know what your thoughts are about this cap week all right it's a cap week let me know what your thoughts are about it all right thank you so much for watching and if you watched till the end already you know you're the what you're the real mvp i love you so much and i'll see you in my next tutorial love you Mwah. bye